Here's my uh, homemade generator th that I built probably I don't know, seven, eight years ago. It's diesel. It, uh, it gives me 12 volts and 110. The engine is out of one of those flashing arrow signs. I don't have a clue how old it is. It's a Kubota EL300EA. It's a uh, four horsepower diesel, uh, direct injected. <clears throat> and uh, I have it powered, hooked up to an alternator in there as it originally did. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a 40 amp alternator, I think. And it gives me 12 volts. And above that, right here, is a 1000 watt inverter hooked to the battery. I've got a good chunk of a battery in there, car battery. And uh, I use it for 12 or 110. The idea was to be able to charge batteries with it, car batteries or whatever, if you need to jump something with it, it would have 12 volts. Plus you could let it sit there and run for a while because it's quite efficient on fuel. And later on I added this uh, 110 volt military uh, belt driven generator. It wasn't originally belt driven, but it was one of those uh, small 1500 watt military two-cylinder generators and I pulled the generator half off it and belt drove it off this thing. The inverter is great but uh, it's not the greatest for everything. I want a little more capacity and so I hooked this. Uh, it definitely is an afterthought but I mean I hooked this 110 volt generator on the top so I have capability of both if I want it. Or I can still use the inverter should I not want to run it and just want some light power. It's quite heavy, that's why the wheels and the long handles, I mean it looks heavy and it is heavy. Part of the panel is off the original flashing arrow panel. I have a, a plug there that was hooked up to the inverter instead of having to reach underneath. I also have a 12 volt accessory plug just for whatever you want to run off it. Jumper cables are hooked up to the battery. I have that uh, side panel off on the other side just to show you. Exhaust comes out there. It's a liquid cooled single cylinder diesel. It's not pretty but it works. Like most of my stuff I don't make it for looks. I make it for function. It starts up well. It's a good starting engine actually even in the cold it comes with a glow plug. I'll fire it up and let you have a listen to it. It's actually not really loud for a generator. It's also not a high output generator either plug this whole hair dryer into it. 1500 watt load. You can see it on here. It smokes a little at 1500 watt. That's it.